We're basically the only two gingers who went through school without going through puberty on top of being gingers, you know. And then we had to search for a job looking like children. Imagine the bullying. That Hi folks, it's Uranus from Brussels. Welcome to another video. Today we're looking further into what happened to Brandon Westfall since his appearance on The Doctors nine years ago. Spoiler alert, this is what he looks like today. He finally ended up going through puberty, but it wasn't an easy road at all. Let's just get to it. As you might already know, Brandon Westfall is a man who never reached puberty naturally because of a medical condition called Kalman syndrome. So at the age of 27, he still had the body of a child. He had no facial hair, no body hair, he still had a high-pitched voice, he had underdeveloped genitals, and on top of that, he lacked a sense of smell. So as you can imagine, his life without going through puberty was quite miserable. He decided it was time to do something about it, but due to financial problems, instead of going to an endocrinologist, he contacted multiple television shows and eventually he was accepted on The Doctors. His episode ended up being one of the most successful they ever had and just the trailer of 3 minutes on their YouTube account has more than 26 million views. So he went on the show and exposed himself to the entire world with a rather embarrassing condition. They gave him the choice to stay anonymous, but he chose to not be and to show his face to bring more awareness to the condition and to expose the difficulties of his daily life. They diagnosed him, there was some scientific explanation, they made some jokes and all was going to be fine and he was going to go through puberty thanks to treatment after the show. And everything's going to get turned on, okay? Except there never was any follow-up after the show. Just imagine yourself, you've waited for 27 years before talking about this horrible medical condition that you have, you finally get a diagnostic and you're finally ready to get your life back on track and to have treatment and finally go better and then they send you home with absolutely nothing. Brandon was overcoming a cash flow problem at the time and unfortunately the producers of the show of the doctors made an appointment with an endocrinologist that was several hours away from where Brandon lived and he didn't have any means to go there so unfortunately he never managed to make it to that appointment. On top of his major health issues Brandon had to deal with financial problems, he had no job and he was homeless for quite some time too. So it took him another three and a half years to finally start consistent treatment and to finally be on the testosterone replacement therapy that he so desperately needed. He also had, uh, he even had a GoFundMe page called Help Brandon Hit Puberty. Between the time he was on the show and consistent treatment, he was on and off HRT for quite some time, which in my opinion is unimaginable with a man with his condition. It's just unthinkable to be on and off. This guy needed to go through purity ASAP, you know, he was almost 30 years old and the quality of his life was utter garbage. Puberty is a process you can't start and stop. Your body is not a car, you know. Once you start that process and you have the androgens in your body and you start having the changes of the secondary sexual characteristics like your deeper voice, body hair, the growth of your stuff down there, you really don't want to stop that process, you know. I, I, I can't even think how horrible that must have, have been of starting and then having to quit because of financial problems. Basically, they used this man to make a buzz, there never was any real medical follow-up after the show and he got sent home to play with himself, you know. Now, there's always two sides to a story, but if this is true, then the doctors should be ashamed of having a show that is there just to make views and not to actually help people. I made a reaction video about his story some time ago and he actually commented on my video and that's how I know that he only was on treatment, consistent treatment, four years after the show. Me and Brandon have a lot in common. I mean, we're basically the only two gingers who went through school without going through puberty on top of being gingers, you know. And then we had to search 
for a job looking like children. Imagine the bullying that we had to endure. Also, we both had a weird shaped body and we both were misdiagnosed as late freaking bloomers. Now, I never was married. Brandon was actually married and divorced before reaching puberty. In the meantime, he's 36 years old, he's been on consistent hormonal replacement therapy for more than five years and he fully went through puberty. As you can see, he has a full beard and his voice sounds like a man now. He streams games on YouTube, but unfortunately it's been years since he gave us any update regarding his medical condition or whatsoever. Now, the last update he gave us was an MAA he did on Reddit, but that was already years ago. I seriously hope that he's doing all right because to be quite honest, I've seen happier looking people on death announcements. I really hope he's now getting the correct medical advice and medical treatment that he needs because the endocrine system of the man is really complex. It's much more than talking just about testosterone, you know, we are really big bags of living hormones and they influence the way we think 24 7. So Brandon, we hope you're doing all right and how about you give us an update when you can. All right, that was it for this update video. Subscribe if you like my content. Catch you on the next one. Uranus out. I'm not. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm not recording. Come show your ass. Maybe I'll finally maybe I'll finally have some views if you come show your ass. It's beautiful ass. Nobody else can see it in you. Yes.